I have earned 13 Bitcoin in the last two hours, thanks to the help of the one and only hacker Joe1337. Totally legit. Reach out to him on WhatsApp. He's going to tell you how it's done. You've probably seen a comment, something like this, and these are obviously sketchy, and I just want to know what happens when you reach out to these people. I mean, obviously I'm not going to fall for any of their scams, and you shouldn't either. Because if it was such a great way to make money, I don't think people are gonna be giving out free advertising. They're gonna to wanna to keep that to themselves. So what's gonna go down is I'm just gonna reach out to a bunch of these different people on WhatsApp and basically try to make it sound like I'm a gullible, rich person, ready to get scammed, and we're just gonna see what they say. So as an example, on one of my videos, how to buy Bitcoin tips for 20, Claire. You got an email for Hacker Joe and you got his WhatsApp there. I also have a couple other Bitcoin videos, which I get these comments all the time. So that's one of the videos. Here's another one, how to buy Bitcoin for beginners. We got Bitcoin and crypto explained. We got cryptocurrency explained in 20 minutes. And then we got what is blockchain. So those are my primary Bitcoin blockchain videos. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through the comments and reach out to anybody who has their WhatsApp on there. So let's just go through this. We're gonna start with the first video and we got this hacker, Joe. Uh, so I'm just gonna take his WhatsApp number and reach out. Phone equal to this. So hopefully this works because this is disgusting. All right, figured it out. Let's open WhatsApp. Now we can send this message to the one and only hacker, Joe. Now, I'm gonna try and basically give them the impression that I'm ready to be scammed. So maybe I should make it sound like I have just a bunch of crypto laying around. I'm not sure what to do with it. So I'm gonna tell them I have 12 Bitcoin, which is about, right now, about $100,000. And I'm gonna tell them I don't, I don't know how to use them. So we'll see if he gives me an address to send them to, or if he, if he has some kind of investment group or whatever. I've never done this before, so I have no idea what to expect. So what I'm doing is instead of going through these comments in the videos, I just went to all of my comments and searched for WhatsApp. So now I can go through here and grab all these different numbers and that'll save me a ton of time. Oh, wow, this person, she's sharing me the, the WhatsApp number for the one and only Mr. Mark Zuckerberg, the Facebook CEO and founder. So that's crazy. I didn't even know you could just get his info that easily, but we'll give it a try. Paste in their number. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> Cheryl, come on. If you're gonna spam on YouTube, at least get the contact information right. Cause this number does not work. Um, let's try it without the one. Maybe that'll do something. Nope, still incorrect. So there's not even enough digits in this number for me to use it. So I don't know if it's a foreign number. No, it's a plus one. So that's like Canada or USA. Uh, Cheryl, you need to get your act together. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm literally trying to get scammed and it doesn't work. All right, let's reach out to Alvin. Apparently he can help me get seven Bitcoin. Let's see what he has to say. I'm just gonna make myself sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna say seven of the Bitcoins with a dollar sign. All right, this one at least has two blue check marks. Oh, he's typing. Oh, we might have a conversation. He said yes. All right, please share the ways. I need seven Bitcoin. Yes, I do need seven Bitcoins. Where am I from and how old are you? Wow, this is getting personal real quick. This is not legit. I'm not gonna give them out real info. I am in the USA from Arizona. Let's go with 45. All right, well he uh, does his thing, I'm gonna reach out to some more people. All right, now we're gonna reach out to the one and only Frank B. Davis who can help me get 18 Bitcoins. Hi Frank, I read you were the guy to help me get 18 pieces of the Bitcoins. Let's see what he says. Maybe this makes me sound too dumb, like that I'm not a worthy person to, be, to follow their instructions. I don't know, maybe the next one I'll try to sound like I know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, this is Mafia Hacker Troy. Oh, that, trustworthy source. Hello, Mr. Mafia. I heard you can help me get 18 Bitcoin. I am experienced in this space, but need a good advisor. During my video, so one of the people actually called me and since I was recording with my phone, it interrupted the video. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this person back and see what he has to say. Maybe he can enlighten us. Tell us the secrets of Bitcoin mastery. Hello? How are you doing? Good. Uh, is, 
Uh, I'm looking for Alvin, the hacker. Yo, my name is Alvin. Uh, I think so. Bitcoin account? Yeah. What's the name? Uh, Gemini. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I have uh, Gemini. Is that all you do? I'll count you off. Just one. Uh, yeah, just Gemini. When have you been using it? Um, I bought like 12 Bitcoin. That's about it. I'm not sure what to, like, how to, you, like, I don't know where to send it and stuff. Okay, okay, I understand. Do you know what, the, what will happen? Or, have you done any transaction on it before? The Bitcoin wallet? Um, no. Is it yeah. In your account? Yeah, it's like, uh, like 100,000 or something. Have you, have you worked with an account before? Um, no. You're, you're my first. Okay. Okay, okay. How are we happy? Do you have a credit card? I do, yes. Okay, you have a credit card? Yeah. What's the name? What do you mean? What's the name of your credit card? Your credit card? MasterCard? Yeah. Yeah. What's the name? M MasterCard. Yo, do you have one? Yeah, yeah, that's the name of it. What's the name? MasterCard? Yeah, MasterCard. Okay, all right. Talk to me on WhatsApp. Talk to me. Wow. He got me nowhere. I, I left that conversation with no more Bitcoin than when I started. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was trying to get my credit card info, but <laughs> I didn't get very far with that. So he just told me to talk to him on WhatsApp. Send me your wallet. Okay, he wants me to send him my wallet address. So I think I can just get a new wallet and see what happens from there. So you can go to bitaddress.org and you can generate a wallet. You have to kind of wiggle your mouse around to add some, some level of randomness to this. There we go. All right, so this is my address. Let's send that over to him. All right, so he's saying there's been no transactions done with it. It's in my wallet. I've never used this address. Oh, it'll cost me $150 worth of Bitcoin in order for him to generate seven Bitcoin. Why? <laughs> Probably for the magical software. So these guys completely will not stop calling me now. And I think I may have just signed up for a lifetime supply of spam. So this is probably a terrible idea. I'm literally just gonna have to stop doing this because I cannot <laughs> send messages to all of these people. I've already sent to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. And we've gotten two responses so far. And anymore, I'm just gonna be overwhelmed with, with responses by the end of tomorrow. So let's just stick with what we've got and see where we can go with these people. So an update on Alvin. Man, this guy, he saw my message and he was like, man, this is a hot lead. I got to close this deal. So he's trying to get me to spend $150 worth of Bitcoin in order for him to pay for the software to, to hack and get me seven Bitcoin, which oops, that makes sense. I'm gonna buy that, yeah. So the Bitcoin that I send him will be sent to the store so they can activate the e-code, which will generate seven Bitcoin and I'll have it in my Bitcoin wallet within 30 minutes. We're just gonna keep going with this, basically see how legit this guy is. Cause you know, this is tempting, I mean, 150 bucks, that's that's not too bad to get seven Bitcoins. But what I don't understand is if it only costs 150 bucks, why doesn't he just do it himself and keep the seven Bitcoins that he hacks instead of giving them to me? This is legit and work very perfectly. So he hacked one Bitcoin here. He has a $6,000 PayPal balance. Wow, he's made some fat stacks. He has a $10,000 balance which to me just looks 100% photoshopped because you know how the, the prices fluctuate. The fact that he has exactly 10,000 of various cryptocurrencies, I'm just, I'm not buying it. Plus like, where is this balance even coming from? You can look here and see that he has 387 worth of Bitcoin and $2.61 of ether. And somehow, somehow that adds up to 10,000. And that 10,000 is in a totally different font. You can see it photoshopped right over something else. You can see that the dollar sign is totally different. And then there's like a 10,000 covering something right there. So 
I'm not convinced. If it works so good, whoa, why don't you just keep the seven Bitcoin? Alvin is totally disregarding my question about why he doesn't just keep the profits and buy more of these e-code things. Nope, he just wants me to watch this video. A boatload of cash, $1,943,000,000. Come on, Joe the Hacker. Come on, man. Come on, man. What? This video says Joe the Hacker, but that was the other guy. Dude, are these like, do we just have like one scamming organization that represents all these different people? Because I reached out to Joe the Hacker. See right here. Hi, Joe. But the other guy sent me a video where the guy was thanking Joe the Hacker. So I'm convinced this is just like one organization that hires out tons of scammers and pays them like hourly or whatever or however many scams they can do they get they get a percentage or commission based scamming i don't really know if you guys don't know bitcoin is a hundred percent irreversible uh, technically speaking it's possible but functionally speaking it's irreversible and sending anybody 150 dollars worth of bitcoin is taking your money and flushing it down the toilet hi lauren All right, i'm just gonna get to the point here I'm gonna tell her I have 10 Bitcoins. I need help figuring out where to send them. Just to get right from the beginning, I can know if she's trying to scam me or not. And it looks like Alvin appreciates that I don't wanna work with him. He said it's no problem. And it seems like our conversation is over. Oh no, he's typing. He's typing. He's not done. What if I could scam him back? What if it was like, hey, could you send me $10 worth of Bitcoin just so I know you're legit? Oh my gosh. He's not gonna do it though, he's not stupid. <laughs> All right, I don't think he's gonna be sending me $10 worth of Bitcoin. So I'm just gonna ask him a question. You said your name was Alvin, but that video you sent me said Hacker Joe. What's the deal with that? All right, this other lady, uh, Lauren, she sent me a link. Number one tip to not get scammed in life is don't visit a website if you don't know where it's going. I don't know where that's going, so I'm not gonna click it. And she does have a, a report of how effective their investment is. So if you invest $5,000, you'll get $36,000 back. That's $31,000 extra. <laughs> oh boy. Just guys, your English, man. Okay, you gotta put spaces after things and usually commas are appropriate. I mean, the, the Photoshop work was nice. I mean, the photo looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. All right. This guy is just denying the fact that that video said Hacker Joe, so. Come on, Joe the Hacker. Come on, man. Come on, man. Dude, he says Joe the Hacker right there. He's saying that he said, come on, let work on job, hacker. <laughs> you should be rest assured of getting satisfaction job from me, because I give the best and you saw my reviews online, isn't it? Thank you, but no thanks. Maybe I should just start sending him gifts. I'm gonna end here. If there's no more content, then I'm, you can just assume I didn't get anywhere. But we'll see, give them a little bit of time and see if any of them get back. So thank you guys. I'm not really surprised. Let me know if you guys thought any of this was interesting and what, what I could do differently to make these conversations a little bit more interactive. I mean, this one was pretty good. We got a lot of different conversation going. We even talked on the phone, so I mean, me, and Alvin are closer than some of my friends because we don't I don't talk on the phone with very many people. So what else would you guys like to see? Leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, we'll see what we can do. Peace out. Also reach out to me on WhatsApp if you need some investment advice. I'll hook you up. I'm totally kidding guys. <laughs>